What is going on everyone? Welcome to the Pokey Office. My name is Colin. Today's video, Paradox Rift, has been taking a real market correction over the last month, aka the prices, especially of the top cards, have been coming way, way down, uh, which is strange, kind of strange, kind of not, because Paradox Rift was really holding a lot of value. Like It was a really, really good set. You had the top cards that were worth quite a bit of money, lots of cards in that $10 to $20 range, and quite a few in that like $20 to $40 range as well. Not so much anymore. The medium cards have kind of stayed medium. The top cards have come way down, and lots of those like $10 cards are now in the $5 to $10 range rather than the $10 to $15 range. So we'll take a look at the data. Uh, it'll be a little bit of a shorter one, and then open up some Paradox Rift packs. I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, so we'll start off with these uh, booster boxes, which are down 6.8% over the last month. All the graphs in this video are just over the last month, which in the grand scheme of things, one month graphs aren't like that good of signs. However, I just wanted to kind of prove my point that lots of these cards have taken a big drop just over the last month worth of time. So the booster box started a month ago at $99.01. Now it's down to $92.24. It did dip below $90 there for a short period of time. Uh, you can get good deals on these booster boxes, which I think is a great pickup if you can get it for sub $90. Next, the booster pack, almost no change here over the last month, 289 to 288 so nothing to talk about. Okay, like I said in the introduction, lots of cards I had to just remove from the presentation because I usually only include cards that are $10 or more, and there was quite a few that I had to delete because now they're no longer worth more than $10. Anyways, we're starting off with the gold counter catcher. Uh, started at thirteen forty-seven a month ago, now down to ten dollars and sixty cents, so a twenty-one point three percent drop. I think you're going to see lots of these lower end, like ten to fifteen dollar cards. Not a ton of movement in these ones, but definitely like the mid to upper tier of Paradox Rift has seen pretty big movement over the last month. Garchomp EX Terra card, the hyper rare, is actually up thirty cents to ten dollars and ninety-one cents, so a two point eight percent increase. Then we have the gold roaring moon. Uh, not a ton of movement here. Like the graph looks like it's up and down, but really we're talking about a dollar twenty in total movement over the uh, vertical axis there. Currently at eleven dollars and forty eight cents. Okay, we got Mela up next. This one down a couple bucks, down to eleven dollars and ninety nine cents. Especially over the last like week and a half, two weeks, it has dropped. Uh, a little bit here, down 13.1% over the last month. Then we have Professor Turo's scenario. This one over the month has actually, this is like a good graph, I think, to show what's happening because it has just, the trend line is basically straight down from $15 down to $12.49 where it's currently at. Hey, a couple things before we carry on. Number one, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment for me. Uh, it really helps YouTube push out this video to more people, and I would really appreciate that. And number two, if you didn't know, I do live streams every second Friday, uh, so you can check out what I'm currently offering at thepokeoffice.com. And if you join the YouTube membership, you get discount codes for the packs, and it's a lot of fun. We hang out sometimes for like four or five hours. It's absolutely crazy. So if you want to check that out, go to thepokeoffice.com and join that YouTube membership. See you back at the presentation. Okay, next we have the Morpeko uh, down 1.3%, so not a ton of movement here. It did spike up there in the middle of January to $14.60 or so. This is a really cool card, actually. And shocker, this one actually wasn't even a $10 card at pre-release. And then people started realizing that, so, that this was actually in Paradox Rift, and people started loving it. Got up all the way to $20, and now it's back down a little bit. But still a really nice illustration rare to pick up from the set. Galissapod EX, this is a special illustration rare. Not a ton of movement here either, down 4.6% to $15.91. Then, this is one that I actually just bought recently because this one has been trending in the right direction for a little while now. This one, I think I paid $7 Canadian for it like less than a month ago, and now it's up to $16.41 in the market price, and that's US dollars. So, uh, some people don't realize that this card has increased that much, uh, so you might be able to still pick it up. I think this is a pretty playable card in the TCG, if I remember correctly. Thought that I follow it that much, but uh, doing quite well. I think this one might kind of level back out around that $15 mark would be my guess. Then we have the Tapu Koko EX Special Illustration Rare. On this one, not a ton of movement either, down $0.42. Cents. 
currently at $17.50 in the market, actually up just a tad. Uh, the graph just got cut off there a little bit on the right-hand side. That's why it's showing a little bit funny. Okay, Garchomp EX Terra card, straight trend line down, 26.7% uh, drop over the last month. So this one has taken a pretty big hit from $28.18 down to $20.67. Then we have Professor Seda's Vitality. I pulled this one, and I actually, like less than a month ago, I had this one listed for $30, and now it's only $20, so no one bought it, obviously which is good for them, bad for me. Uh, 28.75 is where this one started a month ago. Now it's at $20.90, so a 27.3% drop. We're getting into some of the cards that have dropped pretty substantially. Alteria EX, kind of holding its own right around that $25 mark, so it's down $1.25, uh, down 4.9% to $24.32. Then we have Parasol Lady. Uh, this one was kind of holding its own all through January, and then the last week, there's a big drop. So we'll see if this is just a blip on the radar. Maybe someone sold like a, a not mint condition one that was cheap and, and TCG player sometimes has these weird blips on the graphs. Or maybe this card is actually just dropping in value. That will be one to watch for sure. Current market price, $24.35 on the Parasol Lady. Then we have Iron Hands EX. This one, if you look at the start to the finish, it actually is just trending downwards down 12.2% for Iron Hands to $25.75. Then we have the most expensive illustration rare out of the set, Groudon. Uh, I actually just got, if you watched, I got the PSA 10 version of this card and a PSA 9 version of this card. And PSA 9 is uh, really, you're not making a ton of value on it on the grade. But if you get a PSA 10, I actually sold it for a pretty nice uh, profit. So this one, Raw, currently at market price is $26.58 and really hasn't moved very much over the last month. So that one seems to be stuck at that $25 mark, basically. Goldango EX is the third most expensive card out of the set and actually not doing that bad. Once again, the graph just got cut off on the right-hand side just a little bit. And uh, so it's down 1.9%, not uh, anything too, too crazy. Okay, we got Iron Valiant. This one has dropped a lot, 32% from $52.47 to $35.67. So these top two cards are really, really dropping. Iron Valiant was like a $75 card not that long ago, now a $35 card. So hopefully you didn't buy it right out of the gate, and hopefully you can pick up a copy of this one uh, for a nice price to complete that binder if you haven't pulled it yet. Finally, the Roaring Moon EX, same thing. This was a $115 card not that long ago. Now it's down to $68.40. Over the last month, it's down 26.9% because it started at $93.57, down to $68.40 is where it currently sits. I think it's just about time for me to either pull this card finally or uh, grab a copy because $68 for this card, I think, is not too shabby of a price. That's it for the presentation. I'll see you on the flip side to open 10 packs of Paradox Rift, and let's get cracking. Okay, so let me know what you think about Paradox Rift. Uh, really, the markets have taken a pretty big hit here over the last month, especially with that Roaring Moon, the Iron Valiant, uh, quite a few of the cards, the Professor Sater's Vitality, uh, and a few other ones have taken quite a bit of a drop. But it was probably coming because, I mean, the booster pack prices are super cheap on this. The booster boxes, you can get a really good deal and there's been lots of openings of Paradox Rift. However, that being said, I've said it many times before, but I'm not bored of the set yet. Maybe it's because I haven't pulled the Roaring Moon, uh, but it's just a really fun set to open. I think the special illustration rares on this one are really awesome, so hopefully we can pull one. Let's get it going. I got 10 packs here. Paradox Rift, um, and seriously, like I'm just not bored of the set. So hopefully we can just keep it rolling. All right, come on. I gotta get this light fixed because it doesn't look very good. Scream tail. And a grout on. All right, over one. No problem though. Um, kind of crazy. Like I, th I feel like it almost is to be expected because we had. Um, I'm losing my train of thought here. We had this set doing quite well in the market, and then Paldium Fates comes out. And then now people are into Paldian Fates rather than Paradox Rift. And I think that's probably one of the big reasons. Now people have the Charizard, the Mew, the Gardevoir, the Iono to chase. 
rather than still chasing the roaring moon. So that could be part of the issue. Alright. Alright. Ofer. Ofer. Come on, we need something. We need something. What have you been cracking lately in Pokemon? Is it uh, still Paldean Fates, or have you been going back in time to Sword and Shield era? There's a Serena first hit. Not bad. I mean, there's... There's still lots to like. I, we've talked about it before, but Scarlet and Violet era, in my opinion, is totally crushing it. I thoroughly enjoy opening Scarlet and Violet era, it took me a little bit of time because Scarlet and Violet base set was just like such a shock to the system. But now like Paldi Evolved is awesome. We got Obsidian Flames, which is okay. 151 is one of my favorites. Paradox Rift is one of my favorites. And Paldi and Fates, so far from what I've opened, has been absolutely lit. So I'm really, really liking that as well. So... I think we're in good hands here. Pokemon is on the path to doing really some really good stuff. But that being said, these pulls are yikes. One pull so far. We need better than that. We need better than that. What I'm really curious to know is what's the next gimmick that Pokemon is going to introduce? Like right now we have the ancient and future Pokemon Age of um, but there's got to be something more than that like first it was the Terra cards now it's the ancient ancient and future uh, but it kind of feels like there's got to be something else that they're gonna come out with at some point or maybe they're just gonna keep rocking the ancient and future cards I don't know but feels like to keep keep the audience engaged there's always like one more thing tulip all right full art not too shabby not too shabby this is one of those cards that used to hold some like ten dollar value and no longer it's more like five bucks if i remember correctly so that's just the way the cookie crumbles but what else feel like Paldean Fates is going to hold me anyways over for a little bit. And then we have Temporal Forces coming out in March. So really, I mean, we're already in February, which is totally crazy. Uh, so we got another month and a half before Temporal Forces. I feel like that's going to be a big set. I feel like it's going to be an awesome set. I'm really looking forward to it. This is the last pack. Come on. Get something. Nope. Nothing. Nada. All right. We still got that full art tulip, which is not too bad. And then two regular EXs. That's going to do it for me at the Pokey Office. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to go check out thepokeyoffice.com to check out the live stream schedule and what's being offered on the next live stream. You can join the YouTube membership to uh, get discount codes. And I do some members only content as well. And then, of course, the biggest way you can support me is just by hitting that subscribe button, hitting the like button and leaving a comment, letting me know what you think about Paradox Rift. I appreciate you watching. And until my next one, peace.